happened to Zorov now? This place might be his only salvation. He will remain in the shadow of the first tree. The Marquis, the first tree, they were right. You went beyond yourself. That's how you finally got to this place and faced down Zarov. The Marquis made you a true tree walker, but you were forced to pay a high price. When the Marquis went from idea to reality by entering your world, something else had to go. Dad. Your father, mm -hmm. as though through a revolving door, the Marquis came to life, and your father was lost in the rift between worlds and forgotten. But do not worry. You saved us all, and very soon we will return the favor. An acquaintance of mine once said, only those who get on the way can find their way. And so it came to pass that Jerry had to leave his mentor behind in the clearing of the first tree. Jerry knew that he had been more than the memory of a courageous, one-of-a-kind tree walker, more than the first tree of Mousewood needing Jerry's help. He had been a friend. Then, for the last time, the Marquis slowly turned and lifted his hand as if to wave goodbye. I, I will never forget you, said Jeremiah Hazelnut. And I, I will never forget you, came the reply from the shadows at the foot of the tree. And the boy knew the Marquis, the tree, he would remember him. When Jerry returned to Mousewood, lost in thought, there was music in the streets, because for the first time in a long while, an apprentice had come to Mousewood to study the art of arts. And for the first time in a long while, the treetop festival, the celebration of friendship and courage, was held in honor of an apprentice who had finished his training. In honor of the tree walker, Jeremiah Hazelnut, the rabbit's apprentice. All oh, right, oh, oh, I'm, I'm still in control. I can talk to people. Let's talk to people and then I'll waffle. Not on duty then? No, Penny is now the pro scout. He has to stay away from the cannon now. A few nights ago, he shot blow nuts at the town. I knew there was something wrong with him. Poor Penny. Isn't this a grand tangle? We put it together yesterday in a hurry. Very stylish, boys. Then it was great fun, too. Yes, diligent work is fun. You again. I love the treetop festival. I come here every year. I have this magic premonition that you will not be the last apprentice the people of Mousewood acknowledge in this fashion. Greetings, Jeremiah. The Turtles have recovered. Yay. You can go home now, Jerry. Are you ready? I've stayed a little longer. Uh, I want to stay a little longer. Come see us when you're ready. Let's talk to everyone, though. Mr. Spitzbank, what are you doing here? Well, I heard that in your honor they were holding the treetop festival earlier this year. So, naturally, I turned right around and came back. You must tell me all about your adventures. <laughs> and you tell me about yours. Oh, you'll come and see me soon. I brought some lovely kelp tea from the coast. They are holding the treetop festival unusually early this year, but oh, 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 sometimes it's a really good thing to revive old traditions. This is the most fun I've ever been. Glad to hear it. Hey, <laughs> this is a great party. Almost makes you forget all your troubles. Mm. Indeed, Ursula. Indeed. Jerry, Ooh, I heard you're about to leave us. I hope you'll visit us again soon. Sure, I live just around the corner. Well, so to speak. Really? How far is that on a bike? Uh, just a portal away. Oh, well then you'll have to show us your home soon. 
So we got to the end of the credits. I hope you like the cupcakes too. Nah, oh, I don't really go for sweet things. They're not good for the teeth. Mm. Yum, carrots on the other hand. I could gorge on those all day. Mm. Somehow, you're surprised. Then why don't you order a carrot cake from Anya next time around? Is that supposed to be fun? Um, no. Dance at last! Oh, yes! <laughs> oh, hey! <laughs> Have you seen my son by any chance? <laughs> he, he wrote me a letter saying he wants to retire to Coconut Palm Islands. Would you believe? But just as I said, he's a born comedian. I, I bet he's sitting behind some mushroom, thinking up new material for our show. Mm. Okay. It's okay. so amazing how my friend can dance. I wish I could dance like that, but I look as familiar. <laughs> Um, but here. Hey, is it true that you saw the fox? Yes, and I befriended it. How cool is that? Much cooler than my stupid violin. Here they all go again, drinking our juice. Typical bar. They have good taste. Whatever would they do without us wood dwarfs, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Here's our tree walker now. I hope I can interview you soon. Then you can let us in on how you tamed the lizards, chased off the crows, and defeated the evil magician. Okay, but... No false modesty, please. You've got a good face for the radio. <laughs> well, it's all on YouTube. Hey, youngster, remember, just because your apprenticeship is finished, that doesn't mean you're a master. <laughs> you whippersnapper. Age and experience form the stainless foundation there is. Don't you forget that. And now, let's celebrate. Here's to you. <laughs> there we go. Is that everyone? Okay, what else? Is there anyone I'm missing? Oh, I can still do this. Hey! Is that, I think it might be everyone. I think I'm talking to everyone. Is there anyone hiding? Not on duty then? No, he has to stay away. Yeah, we've talked to everyone, I think. There's nowhere else to go. I think it is time to say goodbye from here. Greetings, Jeremiah. The portals have recovered. You can go home now, Jerry. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Yes, I'm ready. And I'm going to come with you. Hmm? My father, my mother, will they be back? They already are. Soon, eh? Cherry, we've been waiting for you for an hour. I've had to stop your dad from eating the entire blackberry pie himself. I was hungry. I feel like I've been on my legs forever. Me too. Oh, not staying to say goodbye. Oh. And that's all Jeremiah could say. The fox girl still claims that he cried. That's so not true. <laughs> <laughs> thus, Jeremiah Hazelnut returned home. Hey. And thus ends our story. Ah. Uh. Ooh, moth. But with every ending, other stories begin. They are like waves in the ocean, always in motion, spilling over and intertwining. Oh, we didn't find early. I thought Some we'd done stories that. tell of huge problems we create for others that can barely be solved, even with courage, especially when you're nothing but a tiny mouse. But perhaps someone is going to step up. And then there are scary tales as well. Secret, forbidden ones that you can only tell behind closed doors. Are you suddenly cold too? No. 
It's the middle of summer. Who... Who was that boy? My friend's apprentice. Thank you for helping him. He broke Zarov's curse. I underestimated Zarov. And that boy, too. Will you finally free me from this prison so that I may once again protect the portal worlds? This kind of thing must never happen again. You know that this is impossible, old friend. Uh, I thought so. Nothing is impossible. Random techno beat. This sounds like it might be going into the credits again. No, it didn't. Okay, I didn't think so. That would have been weird. Uh, so, just thought it's a standard point and click puzzle game with weird puzzles that really confuse you and make you want to uh, do a walkthrough, or as they're commonly known, puzzle games. Um, I think I kind of normally ramble on about the story, so I will. And I think I was a little frustrated by the fact they gave you this massive plot dump at the end, pretty much, of just kind of going, oh yes, he, he was the apprentice of the Marquis de Hoto, and it led to this, and then they turned evil, and this. I would have preferred it if it had been kind of more kind of drop-fed early on, um, and start building things up. Um, I kind of like the fact that we... S I, I, kind of, I do like the fact that we ended with that reveal of, yes, it was actually the Marquis de Hoto, which I thought it was, because it, it was white, and he had... It looked like he had ears going down uh, behind him. Um... Um, I wonder how you get to that fo that other area. We never got to it. Um, yeah. So I kind of like that. Um, I like that 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 they kind of like the lizard thing, the lizard relationship. They talk about we told them about the the nails and whatnot. Um, so that relationship's kind of obvious. So I mean that's something that's hinted at from the head of time. But we're not really told much about Zaroff other than. There are posters of him around. I don't think there's anything else that we're really um, told. And I think that's kind of something I would have liked to have seen more of. Um, in that if the game had kind of given us more about Zaroff, more about... Um, th there's... Yeah, oh, a human child. Oh, we, we've seen uh, some uh, human child before. Or maybe the Marquis is... is Someone mentions it to the Marquis, we've seen you with a human child before. Um, kind of put those seeds, if you're gonna, if you're gonna have a seed, uh, like a narrative seed kind of blossom, plant it, so that people can go, kind of, ooh, like, I mean, I mean, the other thing, the other way of going with that, you risk, um, what happened with me in Knights of the Old Republic is, I saw the twist coming quite a way off. Um, and spoilers for that game I'm about to kind of talk to. I've just finished it. Um, so if you want to play Knights of the Old Republic, that's kind of this is a fun game, I guess. <laughs> uh, although I struggle with some of the puzzles. Um, but if you want to, know, it's like if you don't want to be spoiled on Knights of the Old Republic, thanks for watching. If you don't mind it, let's keep going. Um, it kind of reminded me the the kind of what they were talking about is that, um, and it was something that's mentioned in the, kind of the end of Knights of the Old Republic is Revan, who's kind of the master. Uh, he falls first, and then, um, it's like, and then the apprentice does, but then the apprentice rises up and becomes the kind of threat to the world. Um, interestingly, and I, I've just kind of thought, and that's kind of something that was brought up in here, where they both looked into the chasm of darkness within themselves, and it was... Uh, the Marquis who went down that route first, and Zaroff followed ultimately, and then they turned against each other, and Zaroff's now the big threat, that kind of relationship that connection, but also I quite like the fact that um, I don't know if it's deliberate it might not be um, but the Marquis also has the um, chance of redemption in this not himself um, there seems to be like still like a few plot points that were never really covered, like Uli. 
Uh, maybe it is possible to actually go through that extra area and I just never found it. Maybe you need a particular item or you need to use a particular item in a particular way and I don't know. Um, but I mean, so I mean, if he wasn't in this game, that's another plot. If they do a sequel to this, Ooh. Uh, maybe where while the memory of the Marquis has been redeemed, maybe we could see something about the actual Marquis being redeemed, um, and maybe he meets Jeremiah, and Jeremiah's kind of a bit confused by this fellow, who is both the person who trained him and not the person who trained him um, and, and that kind of and all the kind of different things I mean it is rather obvious he's like he's white he's got the ears and he's summoned by the carrot flame it seems to point towards the fact he's the Marquis um, through what you have what you have to do to get him um, but yeah it, it's a kind of a standard point and click adventure with an interesting story and world to it which for most of these games, the mechanisms aren't going to be too different. It's all about the story, it's all about the narrative, it's kind of working your way through it. Um, it, it seemed, I think, it kind of seemed a bit oddly structured in that it seems like you've got like a little tutorial section, kind of tutorial section, in first comments, you've got the kind of prologue of the first carrot flame, then you've got kind of one thing of going and getting all the stuff. Um, for the celebration, for the the, the uh, treetop festival, then you've got the four portals, and then you've got the fifth portal onwards, and then basically after that, you've got like the fifth, the kind of epilogue with the kind of weird theatre thing, which I, which I think again kind of fits with this kind of thing with the what we know about Zaroff, and I think probably would have been good if we'd known a bit more about him. Maybe if we could have explain, explored the inverted commas real world, like Jeremiah's world, which I assume is our world. Um, if we could have explored that a bit more, that could have been hinted at a bit more. And I, I think this is kind of, that's my frustration, is I don't like the idea of having a big plot dump at the end, uh, have it kind of dished out bit way through, um, bits um, throughout, and tr people can figure it out. But yeah, I mean, it's still a fun game, and I, I kind of enjoy the world. I'd like to see it again, um, even if it's not a direct sequel, but I'd like to see the world again. Um, I think that'd be fun. So there we go, the Night of the Rabbit. Woo! Hope you've all enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for watching.